Look at Haynes Celestial Run. Here's a stock I've been recommending for years, including Get Rich Carefully, as one of the best ways to play the newfound embrace of organic and natural foods, which have gone from being a niche market for rich people to being part of the mainstream, with pretty much every single supermarket out there now having an organic aisle, including Walmart, some places, of course, many more than just an aisle. And Haynes Celestial is the king of organic and natural foods. I also brands you might recognize like Celestial Seasonings, Earth's Best, Terra Garden of Eden, the Greek God's Yogurt, many, many more. Stock has been roaring of late, up 13% since we last spoke to the CEO just three months ago. I think it's got a lot more room to run. Early this month on November 6th, Hayden reported a terrific quarter with the company earning 68 cents a share, a one cent beat on a much higher than expected revenue base that rose 34.6% year over year, thanks in part to terrific strength in their UK business. And management maintained their full year guidance for 2015. In a world where most packaged food companies are starved for any kind of growth, Hayden is growing like a weed. And I'm honestly surprised that it hasn't been snapped up by one of the larger players in the industry. Maybe they're blind to the opportunity. Even without a takeover, I think this stock's going higher simply based on the strength of its earnings. Don't Take it from me, though. Let's check in with Erwin Simon, the founder and chairman and CEO of Haynes Celestial. Hear more about how his company's doing and where it is headed. Mr. Simon, welcome back to Mad Money. Hey, Jim. Good to see you, Erwin. So good to see thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you're okay. Oh, thank you. you very much, and I appreciate that. All right, but we're going to talk turkey uh, okay. from your conference call. This is a big quarter. We will sell 1.5 million turkeys. A lot of turkeys. You know what? Listen, Thanksgiving, the next couple of days, and it's amazing, Jim, what I'm seeing in the consumer today, how they want wellness, how they want health. They're willing to spend the extra dollars. One of the number one things that Whole Foods is organic turkeys is selling. So we'll sell 1.5 million turkeys of antibiotic-free and organic. Now, this is the one that I buy, as I tell Walter Rob. This yeah. is my Thanksgiving every year, and right. it's your turkey. So if you come back and look at it, it's this here, how it's raised, and they're concerned with antibiotics. Right. If it's raised organically. And, and again, the consumer is willing to pay more. You know, it's probably a dollar more a pound, but the, the whole thing, it's not calories. It's what's going into my body and what am I eating. And the consumer's out there spending the money for it. I've and never seen the demand for antibiotic-free organic, and, and not only turkeys, it's organic stuffing. It, it's all the gravy mixes and the soups and butternut squash and that that's going along with it. Well, one of the things that you say is, is that it, it doesn't drop off like it used to be. The day after Thanksgiving is not a day where we stop eating uh, organic turkey. Listen, this is not like, hey, it's back in January, it's lose weight and, and drop the pounds. No. Listen, coming into the holiday season, one of our busiest times right now, and again, it's just not Whole Foods. It's just not Sprouts. It's just not Trader Joe's, as you said. Listen, Kroger's got one of the biggest natural organic right. foods divisions uh, uh, divisions out there within their stores. And it's, whether it's Walmart, listen, Brian Cornell, what From he's target. doing at Target, moving into health and wellness and how he's going after mom. He, doesn't he have to write you a check, basically? I mean, you're the one, you've developed a one-stop shop. Now, a lot of people are saying, what's all these acquisitions about? I envision the acquisitions being... Hi, Erwin. This is Brian Cornell. You know me from some, from Sam's. You know me from PepsiCo. I need you to stock my aisles with what you have. Listen, and I'll be I'll be glad to stock his aisles with plenty of products between Ella's and Earth's Best. Right. Listen, we had meetings with with you know with Target. They don't have terra chips and Garden of Eden. Like, what have they we don't? been missing here? They're going to have it shortly. Okay. But you can back and look at all our products. Look, look, we love lace, but we also have Target. You, you know the whole thing what you know Target is doing in their May to yeah. Matter and how they're bringing out more and more products. So as you you know just take that and move it across so many different chains. Now, you know I before I got here today I was with Panera a good part of the day. And boy, are they changing their recipes. I know, but that uh, chief merchandise officer left today. Should we worry about that? <laughs> Listen, there's a lot of change going right? on there. I mean, that's but just the, Ron Shake is making changes. But the big thing is, Ron, uh, what big thing is, Jim, what Ron wants to do and what his consumers are walking in and saying, hey, we want the experience of healthy, nutritional food, okay? Right. They know what antibiotic-free right. is. They don't want to be McDonald's. They want to be perceived as health well, and nutrition. Today, we, you know, we have the FDA saying, listen, we want calories. I don't want to, uh, look, I want to know the calories, but I want to know if it's natural or organic. Is that next? Listen, it's not so much the calories. We right. want to be eating good food. We don't because want processed food. Chipotle's not, Chipotle's fattening. Listen, we I just want, want it to be good for me. We don't want processed food. Right. We don't want high sodium. Right. We don't want high fructose corn sweetener. And that's why you're seeing, you know, Weight Watchers and Nutrisystems and brands like right. that. That's all calorie and portion control. If we right. eat portion healthy, control. we eat good food, we we focus on wellness, we're going to be healthy. Well, then you're not worried that the GMO defeats were the high watermark? Listen, I, I, I think what happened in Oregon and Colorado and Washington State has been great. Listen, five years ago, 
you know, consumers didn't know what genetically modified right. ingredients were. And, and you know what? There was a ton of money that came after the GMO defeat. And we still only lost by 40, you know, 51 percent. Right, so, right. again, there's a big enough audience out there for us, Jim, even with the defeat. And we're not worried about Campbell's moving in, Plum Organics, Tree. We had a great quarter listen, today, listen, Old House. You know, here, here again, hey, we got, right. blueprint. We got blueprint. But just to come back, is this here? I and Hain will not change the way the world eats by itself. Big food companies got to change their ingredients because you know what? That's what consumer is. That's what consumers want. Listen. Wellness, 20 years ago, most consumers did not know what it is. No. 94, 95% today, consumers focus on wellness, Jim. And that's why they eat this kind a of and food. And that's why they're eating antibiotic-free organic turkeys right, look, for I'm Thanksgiving. I'm totally with you. That's why I've been behind you for, what, 100 <laughs> points now? You're splitting the stock? That's Erwin Simon, Chairman, President, and CEO of Haines Celestial. H-A-I-N remains a terrific stock. Man Bunny's back after the break. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.